A park in downtown Denver has gotten so dirty, it's now infested with rats, and the city is shutting it down. Good evening, and thanks for joining us. I'm Ann Fujio. And I'm Tom Mustard. Glad you're with us tonight. Today, dozens of homeless people who'd set up tents in Lincoln Park were asked to remove them. The city says the park, which is across from the Capitol, is covered in trash and needles and is a serious health hazard. Denver 7's Lance Hernandez is live at the park right now. Lance, the city says this park may be closed for weeks. That's because they have to evaluate the park, clean up all the needles, mitigate that rat problem, and it could be closed for weeks. Denver police, parks, and environmental health crews descended on Lincoln Memorial Park this morning, asking homeless campers to remove their tents. Closing the park this morning. They say the park, with the Veterans Monument in front of the state capitol, has become a health hazard. We found this needle in the grass. Cleanup crews collected a bucket full. They also found human and pet waste and discarded food and trash, which is attracting rats. As you know, rats spread disease through their feces, their urine, and through fleas. And, and people are definitely at risk of getting sick if they stay in this park. Two years ago, our camera crew spotted numerous rats in the park. Today, rat holes by several trees. Police say they saw several pairs of eyes staring back at them when they shined their lights on those trees last night. We don't really want our city to look like this, but then again, usually we have to hide. And so it's kind of, it's just kind of interesting how it all came to be this way. So terrible. JJ Wood says his homelessness started five years ago as a result of self choices, drugs and family. He says he doesn't want to be a problem. He just wants a place to stay. They lifted the ban and uh, we thought we had a place that we could uh, call someone home, I guess, without being ran off. Um, Today's show is different. The city reaching out to the homeless, trying to connect them with available services. Some taking them up on the offer, others just moving on. Now that homeless camp grew after Denver police stopped enforcing the camping ban when a county court judge ruled it was unconstitutional. The city is appealing that decision. In downtown Denver, Lance Hernandez, Denver 7. Wow.